Hey Amber, guess what? I just got a message from Bill. He spilled the beans that you guys are heading to the Dominican Republic for your honeymoon. Oh, hey Mary. Yeah, that's right. We settled on the Dominican Republic. We didn't want to deal with a super long flight. You know, the Dominican Republic is just about four hours. So it works out well. That's awesome. I can't handle sitting on a plane for hours either. Thanks for picking a place that's not too far for us. I'm so excited. It's going to be a blast. I've always wanted to try snorkeling. And this trip seems like the perfect opportunity. Can't wait. Um, Mary, are you planning on going to the Dominican Republic with us too? What do you mean? Of course I am. I'm tagging along. You're joining us on our honeymoon. Yeah, why not? Now that my husband is gone, I'll be moving in with you and Bill. So I thought it'd be great if we all took a trip together before that, you know? It'll help us bond and all. Plus, I've heard that couples can get into fights during their honeymoon. And I'll be there to play mediator. If I see you two starting to annoy each other, I'll step in and prevent any hurt feelings. Well, um, does Bill know about this? I mean, about you joining us on our honeymoon. Well, obviously. Bill was the one who told me where we were going. Oh, I see. I get it now. What's the problem? You don't have an issue with me coming along, do you? Well, no. If it was just a regular trip, I wouldn't mind as much, but I've never heard of someone bringing their mother or a mother-in-law on their honeymoon before. It's just surprising, that's all. Well, your expectations are your expectations. They don't dictate what our family does. The three of us are going on this vacation. Let's take this opportunity to bond, Amber. Okay, I understand. Oh, sorry, Mary. I have a coworker calling me. I have to get back to work. What? During your lunch break? They work you too hard at that place. Take care of whatever it is. I'll look up some amazing spots in the Dominican Republic for us to visit. Hey, Bill. Why the heck is your mother coming with us on our honeymoon? This is the first I've heard of this. Oh, that? Mom just suddenly told me about that too. What do you mean? She suddenly told you? Put a stop to this. Why would your mom come with us on our honeymoon? Oh, why not? What's wrong with that? I love my mom. I don't mind if she comes. That's not the point. I love your mom too. But that doesn't mean I want her to come with me on our honeymoon. Of course. This would just be the two of us. Sorry. I thought you'd be okay with this. If it were a regular trip, I wouldn't mind so much if she came with us. But a honeymoon is supposed to be a special trip just for the husband and wife. Really? So it would be better if it was just the two of us? Well, of course. Hey, do you think it would be okay if we went on a different trip with her instead? Another time, after our honeymoon, she's going to be moving in with us, right? I was really hoping before then that you and I would be able to have some alone time together. But that's not possible. She's really looking forward to this trip. There's no way I can tell her she can't come now. Well, what about me? I was really looking forward to this trip too. What's the big deal? My mom's gonna be there. But it's still going to be our honeymoon. What's wrong with that? What's the issue? Fine. I get it. So why don't I invite my parents to come too? That should be fine, right? No. That's just... I think you should be a little more considerate of my feelings. What? So you don't care about my feelings. But when it comes to something you don't like, do I have to be considerate? Aren't you being a little selfish? Okay, okay, I get it. We just got married. I don't want to start fighting over such a simple little thing. Your parents can come with us on a different trip. We'll consider that trip our second honeymoon. So let's just not worry about it this time, okay? You're impossible. But I agree with the fact 
that I don't want to fight with you about this, but I want you to at least talk to your mom about this one more time for me. Stress that it's our honeymoon and see if she really thinks she should be tagging along. No problem. I'll do that, but don't expect much. Oh. I'm sorry. Look, I'll take care of the schedule and all the bookings. Don't worry about anything. I'll make sure we can get plenty of alone time together. So please, forgive me. Okay. And when you get home, don't forget that you promised to go on a trip with my parents too. Bill, are you still in your room? Breakfast is over now. You completely missed it. I haven't seen your mum come down either. What's going on? Good morning, Mary. You and Bill haven't come out of your room yet. What's going on? Where are you? We're back in the States already? <laughs> huh? In the States? You mean you've flown home already? You're kidding, right? Nope. We arrived back in America this morning. Bill is really tired, so he's sleeping right now. Hold on a second. I don't understand what's going on here. Are you saying you two left me here and flew back home without me? Well, we planned on coming back today. We tried to tell you, but I guess you were sleeping. No, no, no. I'm not a heavy sleeper. I never heard anyone knocking on my door. And there's not a single message from either of you on my phone. We called your name from outside your door this morning at about 3 a.m. We asked if you wanted to come home a little earlier with us or not. But we never got an answer from you. So you'll have to fly back yourself. Oh wait, you don't have any money. I guess you won't be able to fly back today. <laughs> it seems I accidentally took your wallet and flew all the way back here. I'm so sorry. What the heck are you talking about? You took my wallet? What were you planning? How am I supposed to get back to America now? Bill had all of the plane tickets in his suitcase. Now I don't have my plane ticket and I don't have any ID. I don't know. You'll have to think of something. What? That's your answer? Why would you do this to me? Was that your plan all along? Going to the Dominican Republic? And leave me here? I should have known something was up when Bill booked two rooms and stayed in yours instead of mine. This is all because you were against me coming with you on the trip. Pardon me? Even when it was decided that I would come live with you two, you weren't fond of the idea, were you? Not only that, you tried to get Bill to stop me from coming on your honeymoon with him, didn't you? You married into our family. And you think you can tell us what we can and can't do? You not only went against my son, you also went against me. How dare you? That's why we did this to you. Let's just call it training to make you a good wife. What? You'll learn soon enough not to go up against me or my son. If you do, this is what will happen. I think you just learned a valuable lesson, didn't you? If you do as you're told, from now on, we'll have no problems. It doesn't feel so good to be left all alone in a foreign country, does it? If you go against us, things like this will happen. So don't ever think of doing it again. I'm shaking in my boots. As you should be. <laughs> Getting left in a foreign country with no ticket home and no money? So what are you going to do now, huh? <laughs> now you've pissed me off. I can't believe this. You bought your way into our honeymoon and your son decides to stay with you instead of me? And then on the last day of the trip, you two not only take the earlier flight without me, you don't say a word to me about it. And you take my ticket and wallet and strand me here. Both of you are despicable people. What's this? Talking bad about us now? You're not thinking about going against us again, are you? Bill's got quite the troublesome little wife, huh? If you think this is somehow training for me, I don't even want to think of what you have planned in the future. There's no way we're living together. Ever. 
And don't think for a second I'll forgive Bill for going along with you. Instead of trying to stop you. I can't believe you two would do such a terrible thing. Honestly, I see divorce just over the horizon. Huh? Divorce? You plan on damaging my son's reputation? I won't forgive you for that. And this quickly? His boss and co-workers were at the wedding. If he gets divorced this quickly, he'll be a laughing stock at work. That's only a fraction of what'll happen if I divorce him. So remember that for now and let him know that I am not forgiving him for this. Amber, delete that post you made on your social media. What's wrong with you? Do you want something? Don't play dumb with me. I know you posted my husband and his mom stole my plane ticket from my wallet and left me in the Dominican. You know some of my family and friends follow your account. Now, everyone's bombarding me with messages trying to find out why you posted that. Edit your post until everyone thinks it was a lie. Why would I do that? It is the truth, isn't it? My mom is really upset right now. She said everyone's yelling at her on the phone or sending her nasty messages about it. She started crying and I had to turn off her phone so she wouldn't see nasty messages or get any alerts. What's your point? She can cry about it if she wants. That's cold. Why would you be like that towards my mom? You know she's the most important person in my life. Yeah, I know. More important than me. She raised you your whole life. She's such a great person, isn't she? Well, if you know that, then why did you do what you did? Well, obviously, because to me, she's quite the opposite. She came with us on our honeymoon, even though I told her not to. And when we got separate rooms, you left me for your mother. Not only did you two leave me in the Dominican by myself, you took everything I needed. And you're talking about my behavior. For posting what really happened to me on social media? I'm the bad one? Is there something wrong with your head? I'm sorry about the wallet. I honestly didn't know anything about that. I don't care. Even if you left me here with my wallet, it wouldn't make what you did okay. You don't care about me at all. You wouldn't give in and stop your mom from coming with us in the first place. Then when I mentioned as a joke about bringing my parents as well, you started getting all defensive, saying I wasn't thinking about your feelings. Regardless of all that, we came here on our honeymoon and you made me stay in a hotel room by myself. And on top of that, you went back home without me. You deserted me. What kind of husband? But that, my mom doesn't know any Spanish. She didn't want to be in a room by herself in case something happened. You know, we didn't stay at a resort hotel where everyone speaks English and it caters to Americans. She was scared. I knew she'd just get in the way if she came along. That's why I didn't want her to come in the first place. And if she was scared to be by herself, why would she come on our honeymoon? Didn't she think that we'd want to be alone on our honeymoon? So why did you agree to it? When you said you'd make sure we had some alone time together, that was a total lie, wasn't it? Why are you being so mean about all this? You haven't said one positive thing about the honeymoon. At least consider how my mom feels about all this. And it was her first time leaving the country. Consider her feelings. And who exactly is considering how I feel? This was my first time out of the country too. You know what? At first I actually thought you and your mom were good people. But after you and I got married, you both changed. You changed way too much. Your mom already told me. But what is this whole thing about leaving me here by myself? A way of training me to be your wife? It's obvious. A wife is supposed to listen to her husband and her mother-in-law. A wife is supposed to support her husband, do as he says and take care of things around the house. You should be staying at home, 
raising kids, and making sure everything around the house is done. My mom said it was clear that you weren't prepared to do that. What? Are you two from the Stone Age? And that doesn't even make sense. Because we both work. We're splitting all the utilities, house payments, and other bills right down the middle. You fool. So I have to do all the housework and do everything you say? That's now. But in the future, you're going to get pregnant and then you'll start raising your kids. When that happens, you'll quit your job, stay home, and raise them. You'll be sitting at home all day for years, just relaxing. I'll be the only one working then. You think giving birth to and raising your kids is equivalent to me just relaxing at home? If you're truly serious about that, then I think you've hit your head and need to see a doctor. Well, that's what my mom said. You don't have your own opinion on anything, even if that's what your mom thinks. It's still crazy. She's out of her mind. She should know how difficult it is to have a baby and raise children. She did it at least once. She should know. That's right. She raised me every step of the way and made me into the man I am today. It sounds like you're just spoiled. Because of us, you're not alone anymore. You should be thanking me and be grateful that I married you. Oh, really? Well... I wish you two would have told me exactly what you wanted from me before we got married. Because I never thought that you were this type of person. I already told your mom. But I'll tell you to make sure you know I'm considering divorcing you over this. Divorce? Why? Just because of this? It's no big deal. And I told you it wasn't me who took your wallet. I can't live with someone who thinks what they did to me is no big deal. I can never trust you again. Anyway, let's talk about it once I get back home. I can't think straight right now with everything that's going on. Uh, how exactly are you going to get back here? I was able to get a ticket using my smartphone. My credit card info was saved on my phone. And luckily, I found my passport in my suitcase. Your mother hadn't stolen that. So I had some ID to get on the plane. I'll be getting back home tonight. Good. See? It wasn't that big of a deal after all. So, don't be so hasty with this divorce. Please, I really don't want you to divorce me. It was you and your mom who made me started thinking about divorce in the first place. I understand. Sorry. We'll go on a vacation with you and your parents right away. And then you can leave me stranded there if you want. If you do that, we'll be even, right? Huh? Not even close. Then what do I have to do to get you to forgive me? I don't want to get divorced. And please, delete that post on social media. Amber, I'm begging you. There's only one thing you can do for me right now. Get my wallet back from that witch and take it over to my parents' house and give it to them. After that... Don't you dare think of speaking to me again unless I contact you first. If you abide by my request, I'll consider not divorcing you. I've got to get ready to get to the airport. I'm done talking to you. Amber, wait. Are you going to delete that post on social media? I promise I'll do what you ask me to do if you do that. Amber. Are you really considering divorcing Bill? Come on, won't you reconsider? Mary, there's no point in you messaging me. No matter what you say to me, I won't be changing my mind. Besides, you don't want a daughter-in-law who doesn't do as you say anyway, do you? I figured you'd be happy that I was divorcing your son. Bill's really angry over this. He's blaming the whole divorce on me. And he's considering not letting me move in with him now. Is that so? I don't know why you're telling me this. It has nothing to do with me anymore. Don't say that. And if I'm not mistaken, this was caused because you posted what we did to you on the internet, wasn't it? It's because of that. Our family and friends are turning a cold shoulder on both of us. 
It sounds like your family and friends are actually good people. Don't forget, I posted that on the internet because you stranded me in another country during my honeymoon. And I didn't post anything that wasn't 100% true. So make sure you get your facts straight before you try to blame me. If you had gone on your honeymoon right after getting married instead of waiting, I may not have gone with you. So this might not have happened. So now you're blaming your actions on our work schedules and financial situation? Well, no, but come on. You haven't even been married to Bill for six months. Don't you think it's a little too soon to get a divorce? It sounds to me like you just don't have any patience. You can think that if you want. It's clear to me that I just don't have the ability to judge people's characters very well. I'll be much more careful of who I date from now on and how close to their mother they are. But there's always issues with couples when they get married. It's normal. There's always unsuspected things that pop up. You're supposed to overcome those things together. That's how you grow stronger as a couple. I'm sorry. Nothing you're saying is resonating with me. This conversation clearly isn't going anywhere. So why don't we just end it there? Amber, please understand. If I divorce Bill, it's gonna look bad on him. I know that's the only reason you're trying to get me to stay with him. I can see that you don't care about me or my feelings at all. Bill still hasn't apologized to me for what he did. So I believe from the bottom of my heart that my decision to divorce him is the best one. Amber, Bill said if you end up divorcing him over this, he'll never speak to me again. What am I supposed to do? Bill is my whole reason for living. Up until this incident, things were going great. That's not my problem. You and Bill brought this all on yourselves. I'm begging you, please reconsider. I'm not going to. If you were in my place, what would you do? I thought I'd finally met someone who wanted a serious relationship and who had a clear vision for their future. But it turned out that he only did what his mother told him to do. He brought you on our honeymoon and he stayed with you instead of me. That alone proves to me exactly what he thinks of me. Then you decided to steal my wallet and leave me stranded there. And he goes along with that too. I told you, we were just trying to train you. That's the other thing. You keep saying you want to train me. If there is something you didn't like about me, you should have just come out and said it. Instead, you two secretly plot against me to do those horrible things to me. And just because Bill does whatever you say, doesn't mean his wife is some tool for you to use however you want. I was doing it for Bill. Amber, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Don't hold what I did to you against my Bill. There's no doubt in my mind that you've had some effect on his thinking. But Bill is in his late 20s. He should be able to think for himself and know if what someone else suggests is a good idea or not. I can't blame all of this on you. Bill is just as much to blame. Don't say that. Bill told me that if I could get you to call the divorce, he'd consider letting me move in with him. I'm at the end of my rope here. So if I call up the divorce and stay with Bill, I get to live with you? You make it sound so tempting. Ha <laughs> ha. And it gives me the chills, thinking that he tried to get you to talk me out of divorcing him, instead of having the balls to try to do it himself. If you want to train your daughter-in-law, there's something you need to do before that. You need to train your son first. After that, I officially divorced Bill. He was against it right up until the very end. But he was even more against me writing things about him on my social media pages. 
So we finally agreed to sign the divorce papers if I deleted everything I posted about him. It seems that his own reputation was far more important than my love. Now I know I made the right decision to divorce him. We weren't married for very long, so I really didn't get much from him. But just being away from those two is more than enough to make me satisfied. As for Bill and his mom, their relationship went downhill real fast. Bill blamed his mom for the divorce and he wouldn't forgive her. His mom came to his house every day to try to get him to forgive her and to let her move in with him. But I heard that he kept yelling at her and sending her away. Bill had been giving his mom money every month to help with her bills. But now that he holds her responsible for his current situation, he stopped helping her with that. Things seem to be really tough for her now. Everyone knows Bill was divorced because he deliberately stranded his wife in another country. So now everyone's opinion of him has changed and he's not well liked anymore. Neither Bill nor his mother seem to be doing very well anymore. His mum might have been right about me and the fact that I don't have enough patience. But you can bet I'm going to be a lot more patient in the future. I'm going to take things much slower and be a lot more selective about the people I date. And you can bet I'm not going to jump into marriage without getting to know that guy's family well first. Then, if everything still seems fine, I'll have to take a trip with the guy and invite his mother along to see which room the guy decides to sleep in. Gosh.